everyone. Welcome back to another monthly plan with me. Today we're hopping into my digital planner and I'm going to plan out the month for December. I'm currently using my iPad Pro. This is the M2 12.9 inch size and then I have my Apple Pencil here. This is the second generation that goes with the iPad. I'm going to hop over into GoodNote 6. I'm still using GoodNote 6 for digital planning though I am experimenting with other apps and I will link other apps that I've tried down in the description below. You might find something that you like better than GoodNote 6. For now, I'm still using GoodNote 6 until I can find an app that I feel like is as good as GoodNote 6. So hopping into GoodNote, I'm currently using the mini 2023 for November and December version of the Cyberry Digital Planner. I launched the 2024 Cyberry Digital Planners on Halloween, October 31st. And so that comes with kind of a mini version of the planner that just has November and December. So I moved into that mini version so I could go ahead, get set up in a kind of newer digital planner, you know, try something out and have just a sense of newness. And then I'm very excited to hop over into the 2024 version, the full version of Cyberry whenever it's time for the new year. And I will have a video on my 2024 digital planner setup. That video is always really fun because it involves vision boarding and setting up my templates and stuff. And I just I'm really excited to hop into that video soon. But for today, we are planning out December. So here's a look back at November. A lot of fun stuff going on this month. Quite a busy month, honestly, but having a blast with it. And we're going to set up December very similarly. Really like going the more functional, minimal route with my text tool and my highlighter. And I think it just blends seamlessly into Cybery, which is why I love planning like this as well. Of course, I do incorporate kind of my own handwriting here and there as well. And I like to write all of this out using Scribble, so I'm still getting that neat, cohesive look with text, but with also kind of writing it out in my own handwriting as well. So hopping over into December, this is what December looks like. And you can see that I've already gone ahead and added a few things to this spread as well that I didn't want to forget. So these are just using the Essential Icons sticker pack that I have available in my shop. And then I use the highlighter tool to color those in because they just come as white. And that's great if you just want a more minimal look, but it's also great if you want to color code your icons as well. So for this, I just have kind of a very tentative schedule as far as my YouTube schedule goes. And so this will probably change. And I just wanted to have kind of a few ideas floating on the spread as well. So hopping back over into that, I'm just gonna start by copying and pasting over my finances. So these are from the planning icons and labels pack. It's a separate pack that just has the icons by themselves versus them being kind of, you know, circled like these. So I like to have a different combination of those. This is just the enter font that is used throughout Cyberry. So everything looks cohesive when I use it. And then I just use a pastel highlighter. So I'm gonna make sure everything's selected under lasso. And then I'm just going to copy and move over all of my finances into the December page. Some of them are set up on auto pay, but I do like knowing when I can expect money to be removed from my account. So I like having these kind of on my spread as well. So I'm gonna move those over into December. Okay, so with all of that moved over, now I'm going to move over my kind of maternity days. I talked about this in my last monthly plan with me when we planned November together, and I actually showed a trick of how to get this really cool watercolor effect in just seconds on your iPad, and then I just hand lettered maternity day. But these are days that I like to kind of go in and focus solely on preparing work and preparing content ahead of time. So whenever I do take maternity leave, you know, things are kind of functioning without me in a sense. So I want to have a lot planned that way I feel confident and ready to take maternity leave whenever it's time. And so I just like to have that reminder for my Mondays. So I call those maternity Mondays. So I like to have kind of something a little different here to denote that. Similarly, I like to keep track of how many weeks I am, and I like to do that just by using a text tool and the highlighter as well. 
I'm going to hop back over into December. So 31 weeks for the first week. And then I like to just paste those and I can make my edits to those. So now that I have that all set up, I'm going to hop back over here, see what I need to do for this one. So we have the start of Digital Planimus on the first. If you're not familiar with Digital Planimus, it's something I like to do to give back to the community as far as digital planning goes. I have created kind of a traditional advent calendar where every day you can log in and get a freebie for the day. And the freebie normally relates to digital planning or Procreate or just iPad creativity in general. So there's a lot of fun stuff planned for this year's digital advent calendar. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it last year, but the year before we had a fun advent calendar and then I did a week of digital planning over on YouTube as well as the giveaway. So that was quite fun. And I'm looking forward to digital plan miss advent this year. So that's the start of digital plan miss. And I like to denote things with the purple highlighter for K Digital Studio. And so that's what I've done for that date there. Back into November here. I'm going to hop back over and write in when our customer support will be closed. <music> Do have physical therapy. So I'm just going to copy this over because it's always the same time and everything, which works out tremendously. Got that. And this is just me using the Apple emojis. These are really fun to use as stickers as well. Got built in stickers pretty much on your iPad. So I really like having that. And that's what I used for my physical therapy there. For this day, I'm actually going to remove this because I do have my maternity photos this day and I'll know it'll be Maternity Monday. For things like events, I like using the pastel orange highlighter. So that is what I'm going to do here. And that is, that is what we are rocking with as far as my schedule for this goes. So that's really exciting. If you aren't already aware, I really like using these floating widgets on my monthly spreads to denote kind of bigger ongoing projects that don't necessarily have a due date. And I'm just going to move over and copy all of this and paste over into my December. And normally I just find a place, kind of an empty spot that I can put this in. What I'm going to do is actually put this right here in this corner. Since this kind of represents January, so I will have this already set up for January. So that's what I'm gonna do there. And then I'm going to turn off images so I can delete this, move these up. And then the last ongoing project that I'm going to add here is just preparing for maternity leave. All ready to go there. Perfect. So now to kind of, you know, make this spread a little bit more exciting is I'm actually going to dig into the December and Christmas related digital stickers that I have that I'm really excited about. I'm still working on one or two Christmas sets that I won't be able to use yet, but I will probably be using later whenever I do finish them. But I'm just gonna hop over into my stickers folder within GoodNotes and then get any stickers that I feel like will be fun to use and incorporate in my spreads. So here is a holiday set. This is a hand-drawn set from GoodNotes that they released, I wanna say maybe 2021, 2022. It's whenever they launched Elements that they came out with this. So that's a lot of fun. So I know I want to use that. And then let's see, I know there's a few sets here. Got my Boho Christmas set. And yeah, got some fun stuff that I can incorporate into my spreads for this month. Okay, so those are a few of the sticker sets that I wanted to bring up and possibly incorporate into my digital planner for this month. So these are date dots. They're taking quite a bit to load in GoodNotes right now, but these are fun to kind of paste over your numbers to kind of have them decorated and fun, kind of like a bullet journal, 
or you can use them to date undated planners if you're using an undated planner. Right now, it seems like my goodness wants to freeze up, which is one of the main reasons why I'm kind of testing out different apps. It's just things are kind of going awry lately in GoodNotes. So I might start with just kind of regular decor. So we have my boho set here, which I really like using. I feel like it's kind of nice neutrals and they're a lot of fun. Okay, so I think I will have his this, you know, just a little fun decorating. I really, really like my boho Christmas sticker set. I think it's really nice and kind of complements the kind of neutral style, the more minimal style that I like to take on in Cyber. So I went ahead and did that. I did go ahead and replace some of these labels just because I think that looks a lot nicer. And GoodNotes recently added a color dropper tool. So I do plan on actually going in and changing some of these. Good notes, however, is having some time here. There we go. So now I think I'll actually go in and update kind of the usual colors I use to match kind of the more boho look here. This pink kind of matches the boho set as well, but this widget sticker set also includes other colors that are really nice and kind of pastel. So I think I'll start with my orange here and we'll use my color dropper. I might go with that since it's still kind of orangey. And then for my green here, use my color dropper and I might pick up this green for this one. Then what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off handwriting and I'm going to change these to white. I just need to send those to back using the arrange feature since those came out kind of wonky. So I might go with kind of a more rustic orange or one of the pink ones. So we'll see what that looks like. We have handwriting turned on for that. Color and custom and our eyedropper. And let's just see what we're rocking here. Let's go with this pink. We'll call that good. And then I want to color that one the same pink. And then I kind of have everything a little bit more matchy matchy this month with my sticker set. I think it looks great and I'm very happy with that. So now I have my still, you know, minimal functional layout for Cyberry, but I've also incorporated the colors of the Boho sticker set, the Boho Christmas sticker set by using the new color dropper that was added to GoodNotes 6. So that's a lot of fun. This is what my setup is going to be for December. Of course, there's going to be a few things that change here and there as far as my YouTube schedule and things like that. And Things I'm sure I still need to add to the calendar as, you know, the days come up and more things come up that I need to schedule. But I'm really happy with how this looks and I'm very excited to hop into a new month. This is one of my favorite months of the year, my anniversary and all kinds of things that are happening this month. And it's just going to be really exciting, full of cozy, cozy blankets and hot chocolate and cookies and just all the good things I feel like, you know, kind of culminate here at the end of the year. So I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I will have everything that I used in this video linked down in the description below. So if you like the Boho sticker set or any of the sticker sets that I showed previously, I'll have all of that linked for you so you can, so you're able to get that and pick it up for your own, you know, December spreads and whatnot. So 
Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic December, however you celebrate. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. We are going to be covering a 2024 digital planner setup. That's my next planning video. So let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to seeing in that video, and I'll be happy to cover it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all, and yeah, bye.